Hello, Kids Universe. How are you today? I hope everybody is doing well. Thank you so much for coming in and watching a video of me making some more lovely soaps. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can get all the notifications of my upcoming videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back and seeing me. <laughs> today we are making dragon blood soap. Okay, what you see here is a little bit of aloe vera powder uh, that I'm adding to my oils because I will not be adding clay. And you know, I always have to put uh, something a little extra in my soap, so hopefully, it won't uh, change the color of the soap too much. We're going to do a black, red, possibly an orange, or in a gold. And, um, I sort of kind of got a vision for this soap, so we'll see how it goes. So let's get all of this mixed in and created some bubbles but I'm not that concerned about it I mean you know it does what it's gonna do so let's get our lie in here after I put on my gloves <sighs> so today I just got inspired to come make some some soap it's about a foot of snow outside <laughs> We just got through with a, like a little mini blizzard here in the Chicagoland area, and um, yeah, there's a ton of snow outside. No sense in going anywhere. You know, people keep getting stuck on down the street in front of our house and at the corners. I mean, it's just snow everywhere. So, all right, now that we got the gloves on, always, always, always wear your safety goggles when you're dealing with lye. So. Got the goggles on, got the gloves on. Let's make some soap. That darn aloe vera powder created like a foam on the top. Mmm, this soap might be rather good. Mmm, -hmm. dragon's blood. Okay, so in is going the loud water. I haven't made this uh, with this fragrance as a cold process. I've always hot processed this. Um, I haven't had any problems with my colors or anything at all when I did this hot process. So, okay. So, I actually have method to my madness today. Can you believe it? gold that we're going to use. And uh, I'm going to just start with like a half a teaspoon. Let's see how that goes once we get that all mixed in.
going to be black. Oh, no. Tragedy over here. I have totally goofed. I have totally goofed. I guess I'm going to have to edit this out of the video. So let me bring you guys back. I have to fix that because I have to. Anyway, black. And uh, this is black pearl mica powder. Uh, I'll put another one in there. I don't know what that's going to do either. That's another new color that I got in my uh, mystery mica set. which I am thoroughly enjoying those. I really am. Like I said, if you're like me and you fumbling around looking at the website trying to figure out which color to get, get the my, my Mystery Micro set. You will not be disappointed at all. Okay, well that turned it a grayish color. Uh... I was hoping for more of a black, so I'm just going to add a touch of some uh, activated charcoal here. base color but we're going to start with the black. That's what I kind of vision for the soap but being kind of pressed for time because like I said I got several projects going on today. What in the world am I doing? I just have uh, too much going on. I just got done making some um, lip balm. And I'm prepped to make some liquid soap. And, uh, yeah. I'm just, I have no coordination right now to do this. Like, <laughs> okay. So, hopefully that gives time for this to set up. I'll spread the bed.
I'm not trying to create a total layer, but if I'm trying to create it to where it makes like a thin layer with layer of the red in between the plops. So if all goes well, that is what we will see. And then I'm also contemplating uh, doing a hanger swirl. And I may go ahead and do that uh, for like the top half of it or something. I don't know. But I only planned this uh, to a point. <laughs> Did not complete the plan. Because otherwise it wouldn't be me now, would it? <laughs> Can you guys see me? Okay, you can see me. I just have to be sure. I just, I'm already paranoid about that. Sorry, it's gotten light. My hand is in the way because I'm trying to pour from really way up high up here. Plop down. Yeah. Plop.
for something that I have never done before and I said I was going to try it today and we're just going to see how it turns out. I've never done the mica on the top so I am going to give that a bit of a whirl here. Now from what I've seen, oh, there we go, uh, doesn't want to come out of there. It's in there, it just doesn't want to come out of there. <laughs> um, I like it when it's swirled in with the rest of the soap. I just think that is so pretty. There it goes. Now it wants to come out of here. So, oh. it's like really jammed up in there. Okay, so that's that. Okay. And then I got some gold. And rather than fool with it like that, I'm just going to freehand it with this gold. And we'll call that good. Now, get my uh, chopstick here. And, oh, let's see. I don't know. Oh yeah. All right. We're going to call that done. I am liking that. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. So, we are going to see what this is going to do when we cut it. And hopefully, we'll be able to cut it tomorrow. Clean up these edges just a smidgen. Yeah, I like the mica line. I really like the mica line. That's that's awesome. All right, guys. So that is the Dragon Blood soap. Let me give you a close up. I'll definitely have to take pictures of this because this light is just so beaming bright. You can't see the mic in the camera. Let's see if I turn this off. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I have to take pictures for you guys, uh, but definitely before I cut this off. So, until the cut, light up. All right, Earthly Kisses Universe, I'm back to cut the dragon's blood soap. So 
so let me give you a close-up of it before we dive into this now um i put some aloe vera powder in this and this was my first time doing um a micro swirl on top and while it's not perfect i am pleased with how it turned out um i don't know what i could have done to prevent some of these holes in the top um but yeah i am going to continue to play with that <laughs> because that turned out great so let's uh get in the soap and see what's shaking all right <clears throat> so let's get inside of here and see what we have i'm gonna cut off the other end first I had to go back to some of my old habits of letting my soap uh, sit outside of the mold for a while before I cut them because the recipes that I'm using are just so soft uh, that if I don't do that, it's just going to be smudging all over the place. So I'm trying to cut off this end. As you can see, there's a corner here um, that got gouged out somehow. Oh, that turned out fantastic. Oh, yeah. Not hard to please with this soap at all. I mean, and it gelled too. Um, which is could be another reason why I'm getting some of this cracking across the top. Maybe because it was just hot. Um... but I can just tell from this texture here that it gelled and oh I just got getting, getting drag marks oh wow from the mica that turned out nice oh yeah I like it And again, like I said, this is my first time doing um, cold process with this fragrance. And I like it. I do like how this turned out. I don't know what took me so long. I'm liking the swirls. You can see where I just kind of went up and down in little light shallow circles. With the hanger tool. That turned out great. Like, how do you complain about this soap? You can't. And I know this is going to feel so good with the uh, aloe vera in it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That's a beaut there. And so, yeah, that black pearl mica that you see, yeah, it uh, doesn't stay so black. <laughs> uh, I would have liked for it to be even blacker, but, you know, sometimes, like I said, guys, sometimes soap just has a mind of its own. It's going to do whatever it is that it wants to do, and sometimes it's right. And I'm not complaining too much because it really does go, it does fit with the soap. It does fit. So I'm not complaining. Oh, wow. Amazing. So this is Dragon's Blood. This is a unisex soap, although I have more women than men asking for any and everything they can get their hands on in this fragrance. Like, I cannot keep this stuff on the shelf, um, especially not in, when it, in the body butter. Oh my God, 
they buy them by the case in, for the body butter. I'm in here killing myself. I was just telling my husband, I'm going to have to invest um, in another mixer because I sell more body butter than I do these soaps. And uh, my little uh, singer mixer is on this last leg it's like sometimes it just sounds like the motor just wants to give out and it's like it's only shea butter <laughs> it doesn't care though it's like no I don't want to <sighs> go on and beat it so I'm gonna have to invest in a new mixer fairly soon here um, so I, just so I can keep up with the demand without wearing out my equipment And also, I need to be able to make uh, larger batches, actually. Um, my mixer is maybe about a 4.5. Um, and I can make roughly about 10 jars uh, of body butter at a time with that. Um, however, I prefer to make larger larger. Uh, bowl so I can make larger batches um cause I'm not one I just rather make one whole batch of one cent I'm not one for making a whole bunch of uh body butter and having it sitting to the side to make fragrance I tried that that does not work it doesn't hold its fluffiness enough for me and usually when you're doing a single order like that I mean it just is not enough oomph for the beaters to really get down in there and I ain't about holding no hand mixer when I don't have to all right so that is the dragon's blood soap I am so excited about how that turned out it turned out great this is fabulous these swirls are absolutely amazing so, it's another great soap coming out of the Earthly Kitchens. Earthly Kitchens. Earthly Kisses. Soap Kitchen. <laughs> soap Shop. Whatever you want to call it. I'm blending words. Oh my goodness. I have been working on editing videos all day. And I've been listening to myself jack up words all day. It's so funny. I have to do a bloopers clip or something and put it up for you guys to get a good laugh. But that's our soap. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for coming out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you have, thanks for keep coming back. Until the next soapy video, talk time for now. Bye.